Let's do, uh, give you some insight to that story with the help of Mr. Tim Anderson. He's the director with the Center for Counter Hegemonic Studies, who comes to you live via Skype out of Sydney. Sir, it's good to see you. Your comments, please. Yes, look, the Israeli attacks on Syria have been carrying on over several years. The Israeli officials themselves have admitted there have been hundreds in recent years. I think the Syrian ambassador, Bashar al Jaffrey, uh, said there was at least 50 in the last year. This last one, they killed a family of four civilians in Hama. But, you know, in international law, Israel has no right to kill anyone. No Iranian, no Syrian soldier, no civilians in, in Syria at all. They're bridging international law each time. And they're doing it because they're trying to prolong this conflict and to intervene when it seems that the Syrian government is making inroads against the Al-Qaeda groups, whether in Idlib or the Daesh groups in the eastern desert. We know there's a resurgence there. So really, the UN Security Council has been stalled because, as the Syrian ambassador said, Britain, France and the US are backing these Al-Qaeda groups in Syria to prolong the conflict and to weaken Syria. And so the foreign minister said recently that Syria reserves its right to respond to Israel. Now, maybe the Israeli leaders are trying to provoke that, trying to provoke an escalation in the region, but the Syrians have been patient, but that patience can't go on forever. And what kind of a impact do you think of this uh, comments by Mr. Jaffari will have on the world community? Well, after all, what I'm trying to say, Mr. Anderson, is that the occupation of Golan Heights is not, is not something new. And any call on the part of the Syrians for, uh, for that occupation to end again is not something new. Uh, and, you know, in the past, it has been proven time and again that such calls usually fall on deaf ears. What do you think makes it significant this time? It remains important because we know that the Trump administration tried to negate that international consensus. There is still the weight of international law says the Jolan <laughs> is still Syrian. Nothing that Trump did has changed that. And so to maintain that international consensus behind Syria, to maintain the proper understandings and the moral support for Syrians right to self-defense is important when it comes to the, the, the case of um, any major conflict, any escalation of the conflict, and perhaps including um, the liberation of the Jolan, which is on the cards, and Israel undoubtedly fear, uh, fears it when the conflicts in Iraq and, and Syria die down. They fear a united uh, resistance group on the borders of Syrian territory, ready to reclaim Syrian territory, as is Syria's right under international law. Mr. Tim Anderson, Director for Center for Counter-Hegemonic Studies in Sydney, I really appreciate your time and comments, sir.